from the Tennessee Valley Weather Center, this is your weather today. Hey guys, Fred Gossage here checking in on this Monday morning from the Home Weather Center with your Monday morning forecast update. And things are quiet for now as I record this early on this Monday morning. But you notice off in the upper Midwest, showers and thunderstorms ongoing across portions of Indiana and Kentucky. There's actually been a tornado watch up there near the Ohio Valley overnight. And you notice this thin line here in the satellite data. That's a cold front working southward that will approach by late morning in the afternoon and bring our area showers and thunderstorms. And some of those, once again today, could be strong to severe. There is now a level three out of five risk of severe weather here in Orange for portions of North Alabama and far southern middle Tennessee. In our viewing area, the level three out of five risk includes southern Giles County, Tennessee, and then eastern Lauderdale, Colbert, and Franklin counties in Alabama, eastward through Limestone, Lawrence, and Morgan counties in Alabama. So generally, from I'll roughly say Pulaski or just south of there to about the Shoals to Florence and eastward, across our viewing area. That's a level three out of five risk of severe weather. The remainder of our viewing area, including Lewis, Murray, Marshall, Northern Giles, all of Lawrence, all of Wayne County, a good bit of Hardin County, Tennessee, to Shemingo County, Mississippi, and Western areas of Lauderdale, Colbert, and Franklin counties here in yellow. That is the standard level two out of five risk of severe weather. The main threat type we're dealing with today will be damaging straight line winds, possibly 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. Maybe a gust or two higher than that in a few storms. Much like what North Alabama had yesterday on Sunday, the storms could be very similar. Can't rely on a couple storms with hell up to the size of quarters. Tornadoes are not expected with the situation, but you can never completely rule out a tornado anytime there's a severe thunderstorm. So we will be watching radar carefully. Here's the high resolution modeling this morning. Starting around daybreak and you see we're all quiet but that cold front approaches. And by late morning to midday, sometime between 10 a.m. and noon, it looks like strong to severe thunderstorms start to develop over southern middle Tennessee into northwest Alabama and move eastward across our viewing area through the afternoon. So I think anywhere between 10 a.m. and 4 or 5 p.m. That's our main time window this afternoon. For strong to severe thunderstorms, again, the main threat, damaging straight line winds. As we head into the evening, maybe a few more showers or rumble of thunder overnight, but severe weather is over after about 5 p.m., maybe a stray shower overnight, and then a few more showers or rumble of thunder, especially over North Alabama, possible on Tuesday, but the cold front shifts off to the south, and that keeps the main action south of us over central and southern Alabama, central southern Mississippi. So we will be on the cooler side, and that will actually bring temperatures into the low to mid-80s across much of the area before more showers and thunderstorms return on our Wednesday. You see the GFS model here loading, and we'll rewind it back to Wednesday. And by the even the morning hours Wednesday, there may be scattered thunderstorms on going across the area. And then we'll have to watch Wednesday. There's already a level two out of five risk of severe weather for the area on Wednesday for the possibility of strong to severe thunderstorms. More showers and thunderstorms likely on our Thursday as well. And scattered showers and thunderstorms possible all the way through Friday in the weekend. So thunderstorms likely late morning in the afternoon today. Rain chance is not zero for Tuesday, but they're a lot lower. Most of that's staying to our south. And then showers and thunderstorms likely again Wednesday and Thursday. A few of those could be strong to severe and scattered showers and thunderstorms right on into Friday and the weekend. Here's the temperature trend for the next seven days for southern middle Tennessee. Upper 80s today, maybe 90 in a few spots depending on the timing of the storms. And then the front moves through overnight. We wake up in the mid-60s tomorrow morning across southern middle Tennessee with that slightly drier air filter again. And then daytime highs tomorrow very comfortable by August standards over southern middle Tennessee in the low to mid-80s. And then we start warming into the mid to upper 80s as we go through the rest of the week. As humidity builds back in and you can't get away from the heat too long in the summertime. But those are still temperatures that are a few degrees below average even into the weekend up to 5 degrees below average. Northwest Alabama, more of the same, but a little bit warmer. Low to mid-90s today, possible, depending on the timing of the storms. But if they start by late morning, it may not get to 90 degrees. It may be the upper 80s instead. 
Mid to upper 80s on Tuesday behind that front. Notice morning lows get kicked back into the upper 60s as well. And then we start warming closer to 90 as we go through the rest of the weekend back into the low to mid 90s over the weekend. That's a check of your forecast. We'll be monitoring radar through the day. And should any severe storms develop across that region, we'll have updates as necessary. We'll have warning and radar posts on social media. And should conditions warrant, we'll have a live coverage as well. And then Kelly Rossin's back in the Weather Center this evening at 6 p.m. with another update to your forecast.